Hey, hello, I am Madison with LearnMMD.com. Today we're going to pick up where we left off at the end of lesson two when we had just loaded the happy hands meme. We're going to reopen some elements of it and then make some changes. We will add a stage and talk about screen sizes and camera motions. Ready? Let's go. Okay, here's Mika Mika Dance Open. We're going to load the same model we used yesterday, which is Maiko. There she is. I'll click select so we hide her bones. Then we'll put the motion on her file. Load motion data. We're in the happy hands meme folder and there's the motion file. Okay, there she is. Last time we put a pink background behind her, but this time I want to load the stage that's included inside your Miku Mika Dance download. Come back to camera lights accessory. Come over to the accessory manipulation panel and push load. And you'll see in the accessory folder, there's a stage 01. There it is. What do we see when we scan around? It's the same stage from the sample dance. We see Meiko's got the grid on the floor. We can remove the grid by just turning it off. Over here under view, display coordinate axis. There we go, it's gone. We can push play and watch her go. Now, there was a screen captured image in this frame during the sample dance that showed Miku dancing. We can do that again here. We just need to select background and one of these modes at bottom here. There are mode one, mode two, and mode three. I chose mode one, and there she is. Push play and move the camera around a little bit. You can see it's working. Okay. I'll stop that. Now look at the screen size. The standard window when you first open Miku Mika Dance is in what's called Academy Format. 1.3 by 1 is the proportion of the screen. So it's 1.3 units wide by 1 unit tall. These days, people are using 16 by 9 for widescreen. So we will do that. I've got a graphic I want to load for you. There we go. Let me raise that up. These are the standard screen sizes recommended by YouTube. 1920 by 1080 is the standard high def format. These other screen sizes still stay in the 16 by 9 proportions. I found that the 1280 by 720 works the best for me. The video file is not as huge as this one is and the quality is just as good when you see it on YouTube. So that's the size dimensions I want to enter for my screen size. 1280 by 720. You do that by coming over to the view menu clicking screen size. Currently, it's 512 by 384, but we're going to make it widescreen by entering 1280 by 720. Click OK. There, now we have widescreen. I'm going to close that little display. And there we have it. Oh, look in the background there. Everything stretched out tall. Now that we're at widescreen, the background capture we're using isn't the proper proportion. So we come over to background, choose mode 2. And now the screen is proportioned properly. Let's add some camera to this crazy thing. We're going to go back to frame 0. I'm going to go into camera mode and I'm just going to move the camera. Let's zoom in some. I put the camera right there. To start with, I'm going to come down here and register. So now it puts a red diamond in the camera spot on the frame chart. Let's go out to about frame 60. I'll put 60 and enter. And move the camera to a new place. maybe way out here and i'll push register then we'll come up and pick a new number let's call it frame 140 well let's call it 240 enter move the camera 
maybe we'll come up close. There we are. I'm doing all this by just dragging, right clicking and dragging. And I'll push register. Then the end of our animation is at frame 370, we know from last time, so I'm going to go ahead and go right there. 370, enter. And put in one last camera angle here. Alright, that's where I'm putting it. I'll click on register. Now, over here under play, we enter the length of our animation. I'm going to put in frame 0 to start with and frame 370 to end with. If I push play, we can see all those camera moves we just put in. And she'll stop at frame 370. So, today we loaded the stage from our accessories folder, set our key screen background screen choice, and we registered some camera moves. When we get to lesson 4, we'll download a new motion file to get you going with the feel the sound animation. And we will talk about rendering your animation to video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I need a thousand subscribers! Click the like button and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.